Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another LeetCode question, search insert position. So for this problem, we're given a sorted array and the target value, and we need to return the index of the target um, if the target is found. And if not, we need to return the index of where that target would be. So this is a really interesting question because when you first see, okay, we're given a sorted array and the target value, the first thing you need to think about when you're searching um, for something in a sorted array and you're given a target value is binary search, right? So that's the first thought that should come to your mind um, when you're reading this question. Uh, but the problem here is that not all of the values, like not all of the targets exist in the input. So for example, over here, this is a case where the target does exist. So we can see that five is here and five is at position two. So you would normally do a binary search and be able to find this. Um, but if we look here, we're given a target of two and then two should exist in position one over here. Um, and we need to return that position, right? So now how do we do this using binary search, but um, not having the target in the list all the time, right? So that's the main question here. Okay, so let's let's think about this. And I was definitely kind of uh, struggling to get here, but what we need to think about is, okay, how are my left and right values of the array going to help me return this index, right? Let's do a deep dive of this list here. And um, if you haven't done a binary search before, let me know in the comments down below. I can do a video just on binary search. Um, but for this video, I'm expecting that you already know how binary search works. So we will just do a normal binary search. So we will have our left pointer here and our right pointer here. And we will find the mid. So the mid will come out to be 3 because we're taking the floor function. So that we'll take the lower value. And when it's at 3, we will compare 3 to 2. And 2 is less than 3, right? So we can say we can move our um, right index to mid minus 1, right? So our index is going to be over here now. And when we compare now this 1 to 2, 2 is greater than 1. So what will happen is the left index is going to move 1 forward, right? So if we return that left index, we will get our answer. So our left index is going to go from 0 to 1 when it compares this 1 to the 2 and sees that the 2 is greater, right? So that's the idea between returning um, the left index because it will give us the value that we're looking for and where the insertion needs to happen. And here we are given an element 7, which is greater than the last element in the list. Um, so what's going to happen in this case is the left index will start off at 0, where it always does, and it's going to compare with the mid and kept, keep checking with the target, which is 7, and the left index is going to keep adjusting towards this 6, right? Because every number here is going to be um, less than 7. So when it is at this position, it will check, okay, well... Um, 6 is less than 7, so it's going to move the left index over one more, right? And that's that's why when we le return the left index, um, it's still going to give us the right answer, which is 4 here. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should be at after the 6. Um, and then let's look at this other example, 4, where we have a case where the index needs that needs to be returned is actually before the first element. So in this case, the left index is going to remain at the zero, right? Um, because we will keep adjusting the right index over and over and over, and then keep checking um, with our target here, which is zero. So it's going to be constantly less than our um, mid comparisons, and the right index will keep moving over. And our left index will just remain at zero, which will be our output. So I hope you understood these four cases and why we need to return the left index after the binary search. Okay, awesome. So if this is all good, let's go ahead and write the code. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is define my left index, which is going to be zero. And then my right index is going to be um, 
the length of the list um, minus one. And the reason we're doing minus one is because we're starting at zero. So after that, what we're going to do is write our while loop. So we will say while left is less than equal to right. And now we're in this loop. And now what we need to do is find our midpoint. So the mid index is going to be equal to the floor of the left plus right. And we will do over two. So floor of left, left plus left, right over two. And after we have our mid, we're going to check if the number is equal to the mid, right? So if the number exists in the list, we'll just go ahead and return that index. So we can say that if um, nums mid equals the target, then we can go ahead and return that mid index. Okay, um, and then if we need to check the other cases, so we'll say else if um, target is less than nums mid. So if the target is less um, than our mid then what we need to do is move our right side. So if the target, let's, say, let's take the zero, right? So if this is less than the three, um, then we, need to, we know that it's not going to be in this part of the list. So we're going to move our right pointer, which was initially sitting here, over. So we'll move it to, so we'll say right equals uh, mid minus one, right? And the reason we're not just setting it to mid is because we already checked that it's the target is less than this value, right? So that's why we're doing the minus one here. And else, that means the target is greater um, than the mid. So we'll move our left index over. So we'll say left equals mid plus one. And the reason we're doing plus one is because again, we checked the mid um, and we, need, we know now that it's going to be over in this Part of the list if this number was like seven right if the target was seven in this case okay so after this what we're gonna do is go ahead and return um, the left okay so the time complexity for this will be uh, log n because at each point we're cutting the list in half and only checking in that half so that's the time complexity and we have not used any additional space to solve this problem so the space complexity is just going to be o of one all right so it, this looks good let's go ahead and make sure there's no um, typos or errors so run code and submit okay awesome accepted Thanks guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if you have a different solution, please post it in the comments below, it could be in any other language, it's just gonna help other people look at the solutions and understand and solve this problem themselves. Thanks guys, happy coding!